My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of One Community, and this is video blog number three. Uh, for those of you who might not know, we're a nonprofit 501c3 organization creating open source blueprints for sustainable cities and villages and communities to be built around the world. Um, what I'd like to do today is I'd like to briefly share what we've accomplished in the last week and then talk in depth about open source project launch blueprinting. So we continue to evolve this process and um, we found that we blog on extensively on everything that I talk about normally in these videos and so instead if you're really interested in the details of what we've accomplished um, click on the link that's at the bottom of this video and it will take you to this week's progress. There's constantly stuff happening uh, the major advances this week that we have accomplished, uh, we made a whole bunch of CAD updates to the Sego Center City Hub, and you can actually see the most recent CAD export is in the blog down below. We have also completed our Aquapini designs for commercial food production, and so those images are also in the video blog link down below. On top of that, uh, we've done an uh, extensive amount of work on the Open Source and Free Shared Education for Life program, which if you want to click on the links and see those specifically, um, we've finished the Waldorf uh, research and created the Waldorf assessment page or overview page that includes everything about Waldorf that we've studied so far and are integrating into that program, as well as links for anybody who has additional Waldorf information that would, that if that you'd like to add, please contribute to this. You know, it's meant to be the, uh, the most comprehensive resource we could possibly create in a global collaboration, like everything that we're creating, to, to share really usable tools and tutorials for people. Um, in addition to that, we've created the Honesty and Integri Integrity Curriculum page. It's now completed. Um, we've created, probably, I've spent a lot of time in the last couple of days adding images to the website, uh, quotes and things like that to, to make the, the education program more engaging and interesting. And we've done a lot of work in the last week on, from the open source perspective on the website. If you go to the website now, you'll see that a lot of the major pages have been simplified such that there's a related pages link at the top of most of the major pages. We've got a lot of work still to do on it, but we're going through the process and taking the format that we created for the education program, the open source education program, and we're applying that same format throughout the entire website to make it easier to use, easier to navigate, We've done huge updates to the How to Become a One Community Pioneer page for people that might be interested in joining us on the property. And, um, and one thing that we forgot to mention last week is also we were featured in Neil Donald Walsh's uh, blog, uh, what, an article that I wrote was featured on there. And so um, check that out in our blog. If you look at our blog and you go back to last week, you'll see uh, our, our posting on that little update. So. My goal is to keep these updates from this point forward under five minutes, and then for people who want to um, to see the details of everything I'm talking about, the images of the aquaponics, the new CAD export for the Sego Center City Hub, those kinds of details, click on the link down below. Uh, if you'd like to see the updates to our open source format, if you'd like to see the updates to the website, the open source page, which is what I'm going to be talking about today, is a great place to go. I'll, I'll add that link also is uh, will be down in the description down below and you'll see the new format and we're in the process also of taking everything that we're creating as open source content and putting it putting a list of what it is that we are going to provide on each one of the pages so there's a huge diversity of different things that we are open sourcing and I would like to kind of transition into talking about open source right now because it really is the purpose of our organization. What is open source? Open source is sharing things without copyright, patent, or limitations of use. That's really what open source is. And we, we as an organization are intent upon taking that to the next level and what we call that is open source project launch blueprinting. And specifically what we want to open source project launch blueprint are food, energy, housing, education, recreation, governance, and entrepreneurship. Those are the different areas that we're really focused on as an organization in open source project launch blueprinting and sharing with the world in such a way that other people can use it to launch their own projects. How do we do that? Why do we do that? What's the point? Um, probably the most common question that I get when I talk about 
how our nonprofit organization is creating open source blueprints and free sharing everything that we believe people will need to be able to build complete, sustainable, self-sufficient teacher demonstration villages anywhere in the world. The most common question that I get is, well, what's in it for you? <laughs> That's a good question. You know, I, for me personally, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that I can. Um, as a team, we talk about creating the next golden age a new golden age of, of creativity and collaboration and innovation and um, cooperation and people are really just working together to to help each other out I think right now most people most people that are really paying attention I'd like to believe I'd like to believe that most people know now that we have enough resources on this planet to feed everybody to house everybody to provide energy for every single human being on this planet and yet uh, I think the statistics are it's over a third of the population doesn't even have access to electricity we have thousands of people starving uh, every single day starving to death on this planet and so you know 15 years ago I had a vision to to do something about that and to create sustainability and I've been working on it ever since and two years ago it became a full-time job for me, I quit my job and I just dedicated myself full time to this because I know that I can make a difference. And um, you know, at the time of this video blog, we're still waiting for funding. We still would love to just get the property off the market, and then we could share the location and put that out. You know, we put two years into just finding that property. Since then, we put another two years into working with the county and doing everything that we need to to prepare to actually start building so that we can demonstrate everything that we're putting out on the website. We need somebody to come along and help us out with that aspect of it. Nobody on our team is paid anything um, and nobody on our team is is uh, is doing this for money. You know, We're all doing it because it's what we feel is the right thing to do and because we know that we can make a difference. And so what's in it for me um, and for us well, I can say that for the team that we've brought together, this idea of creating open source content, this process of solving the most pressing problems that humanity faces right now, the most pressing problems of this generation is wildly exciting. It's really interesting to be creating things. You know, the stuff that we are open sourcing and the things that we are, are working on right now have never been done to the degree that we are doing them. And they definitely haven't been created in a way that other people can take it and duplicate it. And that's where we've really gotten clear just in the last month or so that, you know, open source and sharing things without without patents or copyright on it is one thing. But open source project launch blueprinting is really what we're about. You know, what we really want to do is we want to create usable tools so that people can take what we're doing and duplicate it and create whatever they want with it. Um, you know, we call ourselves the highest good of all organization, which means that we are doing to the best of our ability what we believe is in the highest good of all of humanity. What we're creating is meant to appeal to the 99% and the 1%. It is meant to work for the existing government systems. It is work meant to work for the anarchists. It is meant to work for people that, for the libertarian movement, it is, it is meant to work for... It's really meant to work for everybody. You know, the idea is if we, we feel, if we continue to put things out for free, and we don't tell people that you should do it this way, we don't tell people that you need to do it this way, we don't even tell people uh, that, that our way is the best way. Instead, we're just saying, hey, you know, this is what we know is possible, and we're creating it to the best of our ability with the tools, tutorials, resources, free blueprints, and everything that we can possibly put together to make it as easy as possible for people to duplicate. We believe that if we do that, that people will embrace the ideas and take them and use them in the way that works best for them. And since all the ideas are sustainable and uh, the idea is to improve the way of living for people, to, give, to empower people to be able to grow healthier food, to have cleaner air, to spend more time with your families, to spend more time with your friends, and to do the things that people really love. This is what the community model is that we're trying to set up. Well, for our team, that's our idea of a retirement plan. 
You know, it's our idea of like, man, if I could do this, and I already am doing this 40 to 60 hours a week, but if I could do this in a collaborative environment where I've got my whole team with me and we're working every single day with our hands in the dirt and building this stuff and creating open source content and saying, how can we refine this and collaborating with the global community and answering questions and saying, oh, how can we refine this and see how somebody's building something like this in Haiti and how somebody's building something like this in Louisiana and how somebody's building something like this in Japan and Africa and Brazil and using the stuff that we're putting out and taking that information and involving it in possibly a totally different direction, but taking the foundations of what we're creating and building something with that that's uh, man, what a cool gift to be able to give to people, to humanity. What a great thing to be able to provide. And we know that we can do this. And so um, that's exactly what we're doing. And, and specifically, you know, what we're doing right now is we're, we're, you know, we're working on all the infrastructure for a social architecture of fulfilled living that includes fulfilled living practices and education program, a recreation program that's built on a sustainability model. It's built on sustainable and duplicable housing that people will be able to build with their own hands without a whole bunch of knowledge. They'll take the information that we provide and say, hey, I can build this. I can build a home for under $5,000. They'll be able to take the information that we give them and be able to create totally off-grid sustainable energy infrastructure so that they don't have a power bill. Be able to take the information that we provide and they'll be able to know exactly how much it's going to cost how much time it's going to take, where to buy the, the resources and materials at the best price, and we'll negotiate those details with the providers of those materials so that they can bake. There's a win-win relationship there for the individual as well as for the producer of those materials because we're, we're servicing and serving the consumer a better value and at the same time being able to provide business that wouldn't have ever been there for the producer of those materials. And so somebody could enter into any piece or the complete project knowing a pretty good idea of how much money it will take, how much time it will take, where to get all of the resources, clear away all the mystery, clear away all those questions so that somebody that wants to engage open source creation or wants to, wants to help us and join in a global collaboration of creating sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities all over the world can know what they're getting into. And so the idea with all of that is to make it so simple that 50 new pioneers, we call our team the pioneer team, that 50 people can get together, pool their money, pool their resources, assess whatever debt that they have and say, all right, this is how much it's going to cost. Because somebody's already done it, we have a pretty good idea of how long it's going to take. Do we want to do this? Do we want to do something completely new? Do we want to pioneer this new way of living and become a part of this open source creation? Would we also like to build a sustainable village, but do it with our own flair, with our own twist? You know, because if we take this basis, this foundation of what one community has created, then we can build it differently because we don't have to worry about, you know, this aspect of permitting because it's already, we've got a tutorial on how to do that or this aspect of the building or where to buy it. Like all the time and energy that we're putting in, we're taking the additional time to make it usable for, for the rest of the world because we want more people to play with us. We want more people to join in this process of creation. And we know that the easier we make it and the more attractive we make it, which just beautifully means that the more fun we're having doing it and the cooler it looks, the more beautiful we pull it off, the less it looks like some return to the hippie movement communes of the 60s and the more it looks like a celebration of humanity and life and creating a way of living that, that people deep down inside know that they want and they know is possible that meets the deepest human needs, the more we do that, the more we succeed at that, and the easier we make it for other people to do that, and, and we give it away for free, we believe that the more people will do that. And that is what we believe has the ability to truly create a new golden age for all of humanity by providing what people need to create sustainable teacher demonstration villages. And so um, that's our purpose. That's what we're doing. And uh, we're doing a pretty darn good job right now. You know, we operate four different websites that are dedicated to this. 
Um, we've got the onecommunityranch.org website. We have the sustainabilitynonprofit.org website, which is an overview site that we've been working on for a long time to simplify the open source blueprint site, which is the onecommunityranch.org site that is just massive and getting um, bigger every single day. And so we're creating portals to everything that we do. Every page now, and we're working on this right now, we're going in and we're starting to build out the infrastructure so that when somebody engages, say, our food infrastructure page, they'll go to that page and they'll go, oh, okay, food infrastructure, here's the overview, here's the details, and now here's how I could build a commercial aquapini that would produce enough food for several hundred people, oh, and here's how I could build an individual aquapini that would, be, that would produce enough food for, you know, 10 or 15 people, my whole family and my neighbors and, and everyone around, but more of a diversity of food and simultaneously provide for me a really cool place to go and sit and have a cup of tea and read a book and kind of a Zen garden type of environment. And so uh, when you when that person engages that page, and every page will be like this, we want somebody to look at that food infrastructure page and not just see how you could do this, but to be able to click and go, how much time is it going to take? And oh, here's all the videos of the build. Like here's examples of each of the areas that that were built and how to do it. And here's the problem solving videos in all these different areas. And oh, I'd rather read about it. Well, here's the PDFs, the downloadable PDFs on how to do this. And well, what about the blueprints? Oh, here's the downloadable free blueprints on how to do that. Well, what do I do with these blueprints? Oh, click here. This is how you deal with your county and what you can expect to do and what to talk about it. And so, and, and we're building to California code, which is one of the most strict codes in the nation because we know that it'll be maximally duplicable if we build it for California. We're not building in California, but we're creating everything for California code because we know that that's what's gonna be most applicable to the world. So, engaging the website, this is what we're doing. We're creating these portals, which is literally a list of links where it's like, oh, click here for time, click here for resources, click here for frequently asked questions, click here for where to buy your materials, click here for exactly uh, how much money you can expect this to take, click here for the things that you want to look for when selecting a property. And so as we continue to move forward, every single thing that we problem solve, and our organization is setting itself up to be a problem solving organization forever. That's the whole point. This is my idea of a good time and everybody on our team. And if it's your idea of a good time too, apply. Go to our website. Take a look at what it is that we're creating. Send us an application. Get involved with the Pioneer team. If you're a problem-solving individual that likes to just really engage things and, and come up with solutions, you might be a really, really good fit for what it is that we're doing. We're building an elite team to pull this off. You know, and if you don't meet the requirements right now, know that everything that we're doing, the reason why we're so selective in the people that we're bringing on our team right now, the reason why we're screening so heavily and we need people that don't have a lot of financial debt and all those details of why, is the whys of all that stuff, the whole reason why we're doing that is because we know how important our success is to everyone. And it's very, very, with that in mind, we wanna make sure that we bring together the team that can put together the details necessary so that people that do have a lot of debt or might completely disagree agree with some of our policies and procedures or want to do something very, very different will have the tools, tutorials, and resources at your fingertips to be able to build that. And that's what Open Source Project Launch Blueprinting is all about, is making, which we're, we're building the Open Source Project Launch blueprints necessary to launch endless iterations of one community, either by taking it as an individual component like food or energy or housing and building something just for yourself as a small project, or taking the complete project that we have, the food, the energy, the housing, the recreation, the governance, the, the, the uh, consensus model, as well as the entrepreneurial model, and putting it all into play to build a complete teacher demonstration village just like one community. That's what we're doing. So hopefully this has been helpful. This is what I want to do from now on. I'm going to take a different part of one community each week. I'm going to keep the updates down under two or three minutes and then I'm just going to talk about a piece of one community and hopefully share the ideas. I think it'll be really interesting to look back at this stuff in uh, you know five or six years 
and see what we were talking about at this point. Like I said, if you like this kind of information, if you like the fact that we're doing this, please like the video, share it with people. That kind of stuff helps us know that what we're doing is appreciated and helps us know that what we're doing is, is what people like to hear. The change in format was thanks to feedback. So if you have feedback, comments, by all means, please share those as well. And like I said, if you'd like to see the details of the updates from this week, uh, click on the link down below. And if you'd like to see the details from uh, this week, if it's uh, sometime in the future, which most likely will be, then check out our blog and check out our website. You know, we're constantly doing things every single week. We are making pro progress. Once we get on the property, uh, we'd like to be doing three to five of these video blogs a day from different people. Uh, but right now, it's just me doing these blogs. And so I'm going to sign off. I'm going to say thank you very much for listening. And I'm going to get back to uh, working on the education program getting some more great open source project launch blueprinting content out that hopefully people can use and create additional magic and wonderful things for all of humanity with. So thank you very much. Have a beautiful